Alright, so now we're going to move on to the skin pin treatment. The skin pin treatment is going to puncture little holes into the face with a little small micro needle tapping the face. It's going to open up those channels to like, oh, and it's like, man, we're now receptive and open to the seeds or whatever we're going to put to the face, serums, a mask. If you have acne, dry mask, like a clay mask, or if you don't have acne, you have oily skin. Well, actually, oily skin for the clay mask as well, so it's going to seep up that sebum or oil. And if you have normal skin like she does, she has like a combination slash normal skin type you still want to aerate the skin and poke holes in the face with the needles or the dermal roller so this is the dermal roller dermal just meaning these needles can reach to the dermal layer well we don't want to reach that far that would be whew, <laughs> you'll feel it it's a bite to it so it's a little sting and we're going to run it across the skin but i like to use a conducting gel you can go across the skin without the conducting gel or a gel that helps you glide and this is what it would feel like so our client would just let them know that on their arm or wherever else you put it on their arm first and say it's going to feel like this is this okay and if they say okay then move to the face or another caution you can move to the next say this is how it's going to feel is that okay mm -hmm. and if they say cool because that's closer to the face now we put it on the face how's that feel okay. not too bad but tingly mm -hmm. a little spicy yeah, like a, like a little tiny needle. Right, so say she's a, like a little tiny needle. Because yes, they are. They're like 36 to 40 something needles running across the face at the same time. So let's do it dry first. We're going to do a dry run to open up the pores. Or not so much the pores, but we're making pores literally with the needles. <laughs> the pores are already there. We already have automatically built in DNA pores, but these we're making on, on our own. And it tickles. It tickles. See? How, right. She's giving good feedback. And that's what you want. Your clients are going to go through the same thing. And as you can see, her cheeks are getting red. Mm -hmm. And this is from the needles bringing blood flow, your edema, up to the surface of the skin. Like I said, you're making holes in somebody's face. It may not seem like it's a big hole, like a, you know, huge hole you see in the movies. I mean, come on. That's violence and stuff like that. But this is tiny, tiny needles. But it's like 48 of them or 50 in a row going across my skin at the same time so it's literally like a hundred plus needles in one row because you're rolling this way 50 rolling back that way 50. it's like going down the road if you got a 50 mile trip it's really a hundred mile trip because you got to and from and see how she can get antsy right it's like it's tickle. it gets it's ticklish it's antsy it's it's spicy <laughs> but as you can see look at her face like woo, and that's that blood rushing up towards the, the surface of the skin and now the chemical peel can be more receptive. It can go down deep inside the skin. So we get those eyes. We do it nice and slow. Underneath the eye. Slowly. And then that's it. I do two passes. Maybe three or four. But that's it. I don't do no five or ten. No, no, no. Don't get creative. <laughs> Just do what you have to do. And the forehead is really going to feel it. Because yes, it's on the forehead. It's the frontal bone. Or frontalis muscles. But it's on the frontal bone. And that's all you have is thin skin on the bone. Mm -hmm. And that's it for the face of that side. The nose you can do with just gentle on the nose. You're really good because it's sensitive. So you do a light passing on the nose. We're going to open up the pores on the nose. Upper lip, same thing. We're going to ask them to fold in their lips like mmm. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Good. Mm -hmm. Good. Mm -hmm. Good. Remember that com commercial Campbell soup? Anyway, I don't know why I sing that. <laughs> so that's the dermal roller. So we're opening up this, the pores of the skin. So same thing on this side. We're going to get a closer view right now. going to be you guys a closer view of the dermal roller on her left side. It's antsy. It's, it's really, really, <laughs> it gets in the skin. It really, really opens up new channels in the skin, opens up new pores. 
but look at the face. It's like receptive. It's like, whoa, what's going on? <laughs> we needed this. But for her skin, we really didn't need it. But if you want to maintain her nice, wonderful complexion, then yeah, it is kind of necessary. Because we're going to be flawless all the time. Eye right, area, nice and slow. Nose. That is it. And that was nice and quick. So that's the dermal roller. So we're gonna put that away and now we're gonna do the skin pin. It's gonna be a totally different experience. That was nice and quick. So that's the dermal roller. So we're gonna put that away and now we're gonna do the skin pin. It's gonna be a totally different experience. That was intense. It is, yeah. Oh, the roller, oh, yeah, I try not to do it. But the skin <laughs> pin. But it was awesome. The skin pin is the same thing, but just better. <laughs> that's what they designed it. I'm like, thank God. All right, so now this is your skin pen. Same thing as a dermal roller, but without the roller. This actually has the pens right here in its little chamber. The chamber houses 12 different pens. You can have 36 pens, you can have 48, 52, 69, 1000, whatever you're going to put in here, or a nano pen. So, right here on the gauge, right here, you're going to go ahead and turn it or wherever your arrow is. The arrow is where the needles are going to come out. So, right now, the needles are poking out of the chamber. I want to make them go inside because that's 2.5 needle depth, nanometers. So what I want to do is turn, so now it's at 2, 1.5, we're going to do start off at 1. You always start off at 1 or 0 0.5, you'll be fine. So you need something to glide against the skin. You don't necessarily have to because you can still go against the skin this way. She has oily skin, so you can still glide, but you need some sort of gel. So what we're going to do is open up our lid, get our gel, get our fan brush. It's going to be a little cold. Let the client know it's going to be a little cold. It's coming. Okay. And you don't need a lot, you just need something to slip on. That's all. Friction is bad. And that's it. So now we're going to do our skin pen. So remember, just double check, make sure it's on the one nanometer. Turn it on. This is the button on the back side. All you're doing is clicking, and it turns on. So we'll start at the forehead. Any pain, no pain? Uh -uh. See, it's much better than the dermal roller because it's precise. The dermal roller, our hands are heavy, different angles make it heavier. The person's face is angled different. It's going to go into the skin heavy. So we're just checking with our client, make sure she's doing good, doing okay. Mm -hmm. But you do feel it though? Yeah, oh yeah. Okay, good. And so you're doing fast movements. You're not doing anything slow unless you have ice pick acne. If somebody has really grade three, grade four ice pick acne, or I'm sorry, grade three, grade four, regular acne, and then if somebody has crazy acne, like ice pick acne, then you're gonna stay here for a while and do circles, move, circle. But see how red, right? The longer you stay, the more these needles go into the skin. So you can just do strokes. You can do circles. You can do horizontal passes. Or horizontal this way, then vertical. Up and down, diagonal, however way you want to go. Careful around the eyes, nice and slow. Because the only reason why you don't want to go fast passes over the eyes, the skin of the eye is thin. And if they get caught on a needle, you don't want that to ever happen. That would be very painful. Perfect. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. 